Last year, a third of all shark attacks were on people swimming or wading. So if we know that sharks like human flesh or prefer certain colors, we're gonna take even more care about what we wear to the beach, right? To test that idea, our team puts on a swimsuit fashion show. They wanna see if sharks have different reactions to their bare skin versus their normal attire of dark wetsuits, and whether any colors or contrasts get more attention. Sharks do have the right type of cells in their eyes to see colors, but I don't think it's color vision like you and me have it. They've got a lot less cone cells, they've got a lot more rod cells. So what they're really good at is seeing movement, seeing contrast, these type of, type of things as opposed to brilliant color vision. It's time to unleash the bikinis. All in the name of science. Well, right now we're trying out what it's like swimming around the sharks in bikinis. We want to know if there's any difference between them seeing our flesh as opposed to us diving in wetsuits. Wearing as little as they are, the team feels far more vulnerable to the large reef sharks that have been lured in around them with fish bait. This project's a wild one. It's got all sorts of twists and turns, and we don't really know what the outcome's going to be. The fact that I love sharks as much as I do was the reason that I wanted to be involved with this. In Florida, black tip reef sharks are responsible for 16% of all human attacks. These South African black tips measure up to seven feet long. They're the biggest reef sharks in the world. Without their wetsuits for protection, Claire, Olivia, and Gail are vulnerable to the slightest nip. They have two goals, to see what visual cues stimulate sharks, and to show that even with the easiest of human targets, sharks aren't programmed to bite people. We know a lot about the biology of sharks, but very little is actually known about the behavioral realm really would like to see a lot more research being done with shark behavior and interacting with live sharks in their natural environment. We want this project to be more than just swimming with sharks. We want this show to be about science. The dive team's bikini bait test may not revolutionize shark research, but they've certainly proven to themselves that sharks are not motivated to attack by the sight of human flesh or bright colors. There was no interest from the sharks. They carried on doing what they always do, just buzzing around. They didn't change the behavior, they didn't come any closer on us, have a little look at us, and nothing. If you want to watch any of the movies that we've made, you can watch them on our channel called LionMountain.tv.